Hello, dear viewers and subscribers of Screen Scoop. Today, we're going to talk about a movie that many people really enjoyed in their youth, but only a few are aware that it was based on a novel written by Robert Heinlein. This movie involved the most military ammunition ever used at the time. So join us as we look back today at Starship Troopers and the actors in the film 26 years later, from both how they've changed and how their lives have turned out in general. Let us know in the comments below if you remember who Carl's Jenkins' pet was during the movie. At the end of the video, we'll tell you an interesting fact about this question, including the correct answer, of course. Enjoy watching! Yeah, you either got what it takes or you don't. Hey, there is a line. Well, wait your turn, Ace. Hey, Eddie's little soldier. It's all the same, Mark. So let's start with Jake Busey, a 26-year-old actor who played the prominent role of a private spaceman named Ace Levy. Before the year 1997, you might not have known much about this actor. He had a dozen roles under his belt, yet the most significant ones that really held any weight could be counted on one hand. There is a film with Michael J. Fox, The Frighteners, released a year earlier in 96, where he had a minor role as Johnny, as well as the little-known film SFW in 1994, where he was assigned a more notable role. After Starship Troopers, interest in the actor's personality would only increase, but not to a huge degree. He would continue to play small roles in major projects, and primarily in lesser-known ones as well. His most iconic role would be Kyle Brenner in the movie Tomcats of 2001. The actor is now 51 years old, and he is still in demand around the world of cinema. He plays lots of minor roles in various movies and TV series both. Look at that! 35 percent, ladies and gentlemen. Big numbers. Here is a character everybody should recognize without too much trouble. It's Carl's Jenkins, played by Neil Patrick Harris at the age of 24. And the answer about the pet is on your screen right now. You'll find out who it actually is later, towards the end of the video. At the age of 24, Neil was already a locally known actor thanks to the movie Clara's Heart, starring Whoopi Goldberg. Following Starship Troopers, the actor would not get any better roles as he would continue to play minor characters, showing up in the new Spider-Man even though it'd be an animated series, appearing in other famous series like Numbers, Doctor Who, and of course, he eventually became the star of the TV series How I Met Your Mother, which would make the actor world famous. Now, Neil Patrick Harris is 49 years old, and he continues to appear in films, often taking leading roles. The trouble is, you are not good enough the way you are. Hands at your sides. Cheer up. I am your senior drill instructor, career sergeant Zim. Suck it again! Sergeant Charles Zim was played by experienced actor Clancy Brown at the age of 38. Clancy Brown made his mark in the movie industry back in 1983 in Bad Boys, where a young Sean Penn played the starring role. A more prominent role for Brown would be next in Highlander, filmed three years later. However, naturally, to most viewers before Starship Troopers, the actor was known as Captain Hadley in The Shawshank Redemption. After Starship Troopers, the actor would continue to act in films at the same pace as before. The role of a sergeant did not affect his career in any way. There were many minor roles, no less numbers of voice acting, but not a single main role. Now Clancy Brown is 64 years old, and he still continues to appear in film. Give me three! Up on the tower! Now! I'll be there! I'll be there! Sergeant Watkins, a thug who died in the film Starship Troopers, was played by the 29-year-old actor Seth Gilliam, who by that time was little known for he had almost no notable roles before. Therefore, Starship Troopers was one of the biggest projects for him during his then still small career. In the future after Starship Troopers, the actor would pretty much be the same as before, small roles in films and TV series episodes. Now the actor is 54 years old, and he continues to act in movies, starring in The Walking Dead as Gabriel Stokes. <laughs> Much better. Xander Barkalo was the partner of the main beauty of the film, whom we'll talk about a little later. Patrick Muldoon was the pilot of Roger Young. A 29-year-old actor who was unknown at the time, Patrick had only played a couple of unremarkable roles before Starship Troopers. 
Starship Troopers would add to Patrick's recognition, and he would cast in the lead role of the mediocre action film The Second Arrival, and then after that another one, Black Cat Run. In ordinary films, the actor would play supporting and minor roles, with the exception of A Boyfriend for Christmas, where he was the main role. The movie was pretty good, too. Now Patrick Muldoon is 54 years old, and he's still acting in various bad films. First words and the last words out of your stinking holes will be, sir, do you get me? Sir, yes, sir. Private Spaceman Kitten Smith was played by Matt Levine, a 26-year-old actor who was almost unknown to anybody by then because of the small number of roles he had played before Starship Troopers. However, even during Starship Troopers, the actor only played a cameo, as in most other projects that he participated. In his almost 40-year career, the actor has only 40-something roles, and there are no major or large roles among them. To this day, nevertheless, he rarely, if ever, appears in the movies. We've got to get out of here! General! Get out of here. Sir! Marshall Bell, on the other hand, was doing just fine during his stint in Starship Troopers. By then, he had already appeared in major films such as Birdie, Stand By Me, Cherry 2000, Twins, Total Recall, and many other films. Yes, the quality of the roles was not always excellent or ideal, but at that time, when he was 55 years old, he was a recognizable name who could easily find roles if need be. In Starship Troopers, he played as General Owen, commander of the outpost on Planet P. Having performed this role, the actor would go on to play minor but notable roles in Hollywood action and sci-fi films. He still does this to this very day, and he does it at the age of 80. Another hero of the film was Anthony Ruvivar, who played private spaceman Shujimi. At that time, the actor was 27 years old, and he had just started his career in the movies, having previously played in only five films. Such small roles did not help the actor to shine in the movie industry, and as a result, he stopped acting for four years, starting from the year 2000. He would recollect himself by playing in the popular movie Tropic Thunder in 2008, after which he would start to wander through various TV series playing minor characters, which he does to this day still at the age of 52. Rico! Pay attention. Getting back to some of the more iconic figures from the film, namely Gene Raschak, who was Rico's lieutenant and squad leader in the book. In the movie, however, for some reason, they turned him into Rico's school teacher, who only later became a commander. The role was played by the remarkable actor Michael Ironside, who was 47 years old at the time. Michael already had a huge number of roles under his belt. He was first talked about in the 1980 film Scanners. Next, he was the main role in the blockbuster movie Visiting Hours, then a list of hit movies. Top Gun, Total Recall, The Outer Limits, and Major Pain. These are just a few of the movies where you can see Michael Ironside's work. Therefore, Starship Troopers was in no way the biggest contributing factor to the actor's popularity. Of course, he has practically no title roles, but you cannot call him an ordinary actor. Now Mr. Ironside is 73 years old, and he is still as active as ever as an actor in films and TV series. A citizen accepts personal responsibility for the safety of the body politic, defending it with his life. A civilian does not. Now, time for the main character, and as you'll all remember, of course, it's Casper Van Dien, who played the brave soldier Johnny Rico. Well, actually, he's Juan, not Johnny, but okay. In the book, he was the rich son of financiers from the Philippines, not an Argentinian, but that's not a big deal either. However, the fact remains that before this role, the 29-year-old Casper only played a few roles in films and nobody really knew who he was. This is not a trifle, just like the amount of popularity that has fallen on him after the successful release of Starship Troopers. Large roles and royalties were not long in coming, and over the next year, the actor would play as many as five major roles even though there would only be a couple of films that were more or less fine, and the subsequent major work would be exactly one-tenth. When I say one-tenth, I'm referring to the third part of Starship Troopers, which was made in 2008 for whatever reason. Now the actor is 54, and he's still filming in all sorts of bad movies, occasionally diluting more or less decent projects with his presence. 
By human standards, they are relatively stupid. But their evolution stretches over millions of years. Rue McClanahan played a biology teacher at the respectful age of 65. By that time, the actress was already a three-time Golden Globe nominee, which means she had no problem with success and recognition, all thanks to the TV series The Golden Girls. Except for this series and her small role in Starship Troopers, it's unlikely that you would have seen her as an actress anywhere else. Well, except for the one TV movie about Lieutenant Columbo. The actress continued to act until her death in the year 2010, when she passed away at the age of 76. It's an ugly planet! A bug planet! A planet between... A very tiny role was played by Greg Travis, a 39-year-old actor at the time. He played the role of a federal correspondent who, according to the film, dies on Klendathu. Greg had been in the movies long enough by then, but there were no major roles for him at the time. There were cameo roles in Showgirls, Walker, Texas Ranger, and Lost Highway, and after Starship Troopers, the actor would continue to play minor roles, but not so much in major motion pictures. He never really played a major role in his career to this day. Now Greg Travis is 64 years old and continues to act in films. We must understand the bug. We can ill afford another Klendathu. Sky Marshal Tahat Maru was played by Denise Douse, a 39-year-old actress who has appeared in many big projects, but all of her roles were so small that it's difficult to single out any single one of them. Starship Troopers was such a movie where the actress appeared for a small time on the screen. Denise would continue to star in major motion pictures, playing the same small characters until 2022, the year in which the actress recently passed away at the age of 64. She passed away due to meningitis. Are you rated to repair the M3 tactical helmet, Rico? Dean Norris is probably known to all movie enthusiasts. His track record is quite impressive. In 1997, the then 34-year-old actor was probably known at least for his roles in Lethal Weapon, Total Recall, Hard to Kill, and other famous films. While those were not the biggest, most important roles for this actor, just like in Starship Troopers, they would help the actor to draw attention to himself and get much bigger major roles. For example, in the movie The Last Seduction, the actor would play a much more prominent role. However, grand success would be brought to him later by the series Breaking Bad, during which he would experience the heyday of his career. Now Dean Norris is 60 years old, and he is still starring in films and TV series, playing in prominent roles. How come you're in such a good mood, huh? <laughs> Amy Smart probably did not think that at the time, a year after her small role as the pilot cadet Stack Lumbriser in Starship Troopers, she would star in Varsity Blues, and subsequently Interstate 60, followed by The Butterfly Effect and a bunch of other great films. However, the actress is approaching her current less than stellar status. Nevertheless, she is still in demand and plays prominent roles in TV series and movies at the current age of 47. Good for you. Mobile infantry made me the man I am today. Robert David Hall was a 50-year-old actor at the time of filming Starship Troopers. However, most people hardly remember him anywhere else besides Starship Troopers, where he played a small role as a recruiting sergeant. He would also appear in The Negotiator and many other shows you might know, but these would all be short cameo roles. The man in general has not really had it easy. In 1978, he lost his legs in a car accident and got about 65% of his body surface burned. Robert David Hall, however, continued to stay encouraged and continues to occasionally act in films at the age of 75. My mother always said violence never solves anything. Let's move on to Dina Mayer, the beautiful Dizzy Flores, the high school girlfriend of the main character. The actress was then 29 years old and she was enjoying a wave of popularity after the movie Johnny Mnemonic, where she starred with Keanu Reeves. It would seem that a happy future awaits Dina, but everything was not exactly so rosy. After Starship Troopers, the actress would not play major roles for eight years, and she would not have any major notable roles in major motion pictures to this day. Dina Meyer is now 54 years old, and she is starring in films aimed at American audiences, playing the lead roles in these films. Marco's sister made pilot. So will you. I mean, imagine flying a half a million tons of Starship. 
You got a nerves of steel. Another beauty from the film is Denise Richards. The 26-year-old actress, played by Carmen Ibanez, a pilot in the space fleet. For the girl, this role was to be the first prominent role in a major movie. Before that, she had already played several leading roles in small films. However, it is Starship Troopers that would bring the actress her first raise of fame, as well as other roles in the movie industry. Until about the mid-2000s, the actress did not have problems finding prominent roles, but then the problems would eventually begin where the actress would star in all sorts of flops or play minor characters. A notable role would be in the TV movie Blue Lagoon, which turned out to be quite interesting, after which the actress would be invited to the TV series Twisted and other movies. Now Denise Richards is 52, and she's still not squeamish about terrible movies, alternating them with more or less decent ones. Well, just as we promised, in the original script, it was for Carl Jenkins to have a baby frog as a pet. Thanks for your time, everybody, and we'll see you next time.